Hi, Paul Nolan here from Paul Nolan Sound with a quick tutorial on the brand new Logic Pro 10. Now, obviously, since Logic Pro 10 dropped about a week or so ago, it's caused quite something of a stir in terms of the new functionality, in terms of what it can do, the new look, etc. And also for apparently what it can't do, specifically criticism coming from Ableton Live users saying that Logic Pro 10 apparently can't do audio to MIDI because Ableton have made quite a big deal about the audio to MIDI functionality in Live 9. And it's obviously opened up a lot of people's minds to the possibilities of using audio to MIDI in a compositional setting. I'm really pleased to announce that Logic Pro 10 actually can do audio to MIDI. Now, just like most things in Logic, you do have to dig underneath the surface a little bit, get under the hood. Uh, basically, Logic Pro 10 and earlier versions of Logic can actually do a hell of a lot that doesn't look like on the surface it can offer. So you just need to know where to look and how to go about it. So I'm going to show you how to do audio to MIDI in Logic Pro 10 now. So I'm going to go to my media browser. I already have a folder already set up here with some bass grooves, some simple audio files. I'm just going to drag the one that I've selected in. It'll ask me to import the tempo information, which I will. So I've now got the BPM of the session and the file matched. So if I just click on that, press equals, get your cycle going. Let's have a quick listen. So yeah, got a simple bass groove there. You know, sounds quite nice, groovy, rhythmical, etc. Pitches, very, very definite, very simple. So let's double click on the audio region. That'll take us into the sample editor. And I'm gonna click flex mode on, turn on flex. That's now analyzed the file. Now it understands where the transients are, where the individual notes are. I'm gonna take it out of flex time which is obviously all to do with note timing and rhythm, etc. I'm going to put it into flex pitch. This is really where it starts to get interesting because what you can see now is that you've got a piano roll with effectively MIDI events overlaying the waveform. So now flex pitch has basically detected the pitch of each individual note. Now, the next thing we can actually do is go to the edit menu and select create MIDI track from flex pitch data. So let's see what happens when we do that. Okay, now here it's actually done nothing because obviously with Pro 10 being brand new, there is one or two bugs. So we do have to go back and then try it again. And it's not done it again, so let's do it again. I'd rather show you this with the bugs in because this is, this is real, this is how it is. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Yay, there you go. So what it's now done is that it's taken the flex pitch readout and pulled a MIDI file out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhide the track here and I'm going to put it into this top track that I've already had laid out. This is a massive by Native Instruments synth with a, a preset already in that I quite like because I'm not really interested in playing it with a classic electric piano, you know, one of the stock sounds in Logic. So I'm just going to delete all those other tracks that are unnecessary. Now I'm going to solo that, and I'm just going to listen to the new version. So interesting, because it's not quite got the rhythm because of the way that it's been analysed, but it's definitely got the pitch. So I'm going to select all. Maybe put a bit of swing. Press Q to quantize. Maybe transpose the notes up an octave. Option shift up arrow. And now we can use this audio file with the MIDI stripped from it as the basis for a new composition. So obviously we could do such things as 
say for example we select the midi track there we can go to midi effects we could put an arpeggiator on there a 16th note put a bit of variation into it Obviously, as you've just seen there, we can change some of the parameters. I can obviously turn the low pass down on massive and just turn the range of modulation down there. I also have some space designers and echoes and stuff here. So we can actually add a few bits here to make it a bit more you know, big sounding. So, pulled a hell of a lot of really useful musical value out of a very simple bass groove. And what you should take from this is that basically any audio file can be converted to MIDI. You could use vocals, you could use anything, basically, that has a definite musical pitch. And then use it as a basis to come up with new and exciting compositional ideas. So it's great if you haven't got a specific melody in mind, maybe you want to throw caution to the wind, maybe you're lacking in inspiration a little bit, and you can definitely, you know, go in a new direction where that's concerned. So, hope you enjoyed that. That's how you do audio to MIDI in Logic Pro 10. I've been Paul Nolan. You've been very interested, hopefully. And basically, you can find out more at paulnolansound.com. So there's a blog there with tutorials. You can find out about my exclusive one-to-one -one in-depth courses and they're being held in Liverpool City Centre. Again, really unique in the fact that we're delivering courses in a one-to-one -one environment, really deep, really customised and personalised to you. Again, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the website. I'll be doing a lot more of these tutorials, so stay tuned. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great one. Bye.